The first recorded blood transfusion is said to have occurred in the 17th century in France. However, it was a crude and dangerous procedure that did not gain widespread acceptance until the 20th century. The history of blood transfusion is one of trial and error, with many early experiments resulting in failure, controversy, and even death. The first known attempt at a blood transfusion was in 1665 by Richard Lower, an English physician. He successfully transfused blood from one dog to another. He then tried to perform the same procedure on a human, but the patient died shortly after. Lower did not fully understand the importance of matching blood types, which was a critical factor in the success of any transfusion. The next notable experiment was conducted by Jean-Baptiste Denis, a French physician, in 1667. He performed a transfusion on a young man who had been bled excessively using the blood of a sheep. The patient survived the procedure, and Dennis became famous overnight. He went on to perform several more transfusions, but many of his patients died. The Catholic Church, which had a significant influence on medical practices at the time, condemned his work, and he was forced to stop. Another physician, Richard Lower, performed the first human-to-human -human blood transfusion in 1667. He transfused blood from a sheep into a human, but the patient died. In 1674, Lower performed another blood transfusion on a patient with a fever, but the patient also died. These early experiments lacked the necessary understanding of blood types, and they often resulted in severe reactions or death. It was not until the early 20th century that blood typing was discovered, and the practice of blood transfusion became safer. In 1901, Karl Landsteiner, an Austrian physician, discovered the ABO blood group system. This system identified that people had different blood types, and certain blood types could not be mixed. This discovery allowed doctors to determine which blood type a patient had and which type of blood they needed. The first successful blood transfusion using the ABO blood group system occurred in 1907 when Reuben Oddenberg, a New York physician, used the correct blood type to save the life of a woman who had just given birth. This success sparked the widespread acceptance and adoption of blood transfusions as a medical treatment. During World War I, blood transfusions became an essential part of battlefield medicine. The demand for blood transfusions increased as more soldiers were injured and medical professionals quickly realized the need for a large-scale blood banking system. The first blood bank was established in 1937 by Bernard Fantas at the Cook County Hospital in Chicago. The history of blood transfusions is one of trial and error, with many early experiments resulting in failure, controversy, and even death. It was not until the early 20th century that blood typing was discovered, and the practice of blood transfusion became safer. Today, blood transfusions have become a routine medical procedure that saves countless lives. Thanks to the efforts of medical professionals throughout history, we have made great strides in understanding blood and its importance in medicine.